Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I'm gonna be making some shrimp rolls for dinner. Mmm, shrimpies. I had wanted to test out HelloFresh for a while, and I had a friend recommend me to try this out too. If you're watching this, Tiff, hi Tiff. I opened up the box and inside are ingredients and instruction cards for each dish. I ordered two meals for the week. For tonight's recipe involves six total steps. Prep, roast potatoes, make slaw, toast bread, cook shrimp, and serve. Not gonna lie, I didn't really read the recipe card before to prep like I usually do, and I'm just gonna see what happens. I like to get most of my mise en place tools like prep bowls, sheet pans, knives, or even a grater like we need for tonight's recipe. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees and open up the bag of ingredients. I was also kind of surprised when I even saw condiments like celery salt or sour cream was provided. That's cool. I was having a hard time picking up the potatoes, but go ahead and wash and dry them and cut them into half inch wedges. I just cut them in length halfwise and cut diagonally to the left and right. I'm just gonna put my potatoes on the sheet pan because I know that we're gonna have to toss it with olive oil and spices for later. Next, you're gonna go ahead and zest one lemon and cut it into halves. For some reason, I cut the lemon into wedges. I think my brain was on autopilot or something, so that was my bad. I like to put away my ingredients in bowls, plates, or some type of container so that the ingredients are off and away from the cutting board. Go ahead and wash your green onions and then slice them down from the green and white parts. We're gonna use both of those part of the onion for different purposes. Next, we're gonna bring the baking sheet back over and we're gonna toss the potatoes in a large drizzle of olive oil, half the paprika, and half the garlic powder. We're gonna use the rest of the spices for later. I opened up the paprika and couldn't really measure it with my eyes properly, so I got a bowl and put it out so that I actually use the right amount for the spices for the potatoes and other parts of the recipe. Go ahead and take your potatoes and put them in the oven and roast them for about 20 to 25 minutes on the top rack. Up next, we're gonna go make the slaw, but I don't really like sour cream or mayonnaise too much, so I decided to use Just One Cookbook's Asian slaw recipe using 1 4 cup apple cider vinegar, 1 tablespoon sugar, 1 tablespoon sesame oil, and 1 tablespoon toasted sesame seeds. Go ahead and put in the cabbage and green parts of the green onion into the dressing and toss. I went ahead and I put the slaw back into the fridge, that way I have a nice refreshing bite. We're gonna go work on toasting our bread, so let's go ahead and cut these in lengthwise. I kind of messed up on slicing the bread. I wasn't supposed to slice it all the way through, but it's still gonna turn out fine. 
Go ahead and melt a tablespoon of butter and use a brush to lather on some of it on the bread. You can toast these directly on the oven rack or put them on a baking sheet until golden brown for about two to three minutes. Now we can go ahead and rinse and dry our shrimp and then getting a bowl, we can go toss it with some olive oil, the remaining paprika, the remaining garlic powder, and the remaining celery salt and salt and pepper. However, I didn't use the first half of the celery salt, so we're only gonna use just half of it. In a large pan, go ahead and heat some olive oil over medium high heat. Once hot, go put in your shrampies into the pan and let them sing. You want to cook the shrimp for about three to four minutes and occasionally stir it or until the shrimp are opaque and cooked through. I just realized I was supposed to put the green parts of the green onion with the shrimp at the same time, but it's, again, it's still going to taste good. I went ahead and I took the pan off the heat and then added in a tablespoon of butter and lemon zest for flavor. I also forgot to film and plate the potatoes, so my bad. You can assemble the shrimp rolls however way you want. I just thought it might be easier to put the shrimp on a bed of slaw. And I also forgot to put the lemon wedges on the side. I ended up just squeezing the lemon on the shrimp. That way it has all the flavor there. I also decided to get some sambal just because I really like that as my preferred hot sauce. I decided to load up on slaw just because I love me a good crunch. I enjoyed the shrimp rolls. There was good texture on the shrimp, good crunch from the slaw, and the bread was toasted perfect. It was a good recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.